is Broadcast Beat Magazine with Ryan Salazar. Ryan Salazar here with Broadcast Beat Magazine. We've got a special guest, Matt Smith, Chief Evangelist at Envato. How you doing, Matt? Hey, Ryan, doing well. Hope you are too. So tell us about Envato and what you guys do. We are a turnkey TV Everywhere platform for programmers, for broadcasters, service providers, really anyone who has a live linear or even a VOD signal or VOD product to, to bring to market. So we provide the digital on-ramp, as I call it, from signal acquisition through media preparation, um, including closed captions and even editing and, and taking clips out of live events, player SDKs, really what we call a video supply chain, an end-to-end -end holistic approach to bringing uh, video content to screens everywhere. What made you guys get started? Was, was there a certain project that you had to do or something like that? Well, the company began really um, in the, you know, at the pixel level of video. Um, the company began as a uh, forensic uh, watermarking function. And through the course of, of some discussions with uh, companies that became customers, uh, the company decided to take a different approach and almost look, you know, that half glass full approach and look at the streaming production workflow, the video value chain, if you will, and see how we could change it and get out of some of the proprietary components that exist in some workflows to more of a, um, we call it a dynamic stream tunnel to where everything's kind of contained in one workflow. That way there's fewer you know, fingers to point, fewer necks to choke, but also some efficiencies in the process. Tell us about uh, the over the top uh, TV everywhere solutions you have for broadcasters. So for broadcasters today, we serve uh, more than 200 stations nationwide from markets as large as New York City down to uh, some of your smaller DMAs, like a, even a Tyler, Texas. Uh, and in those scenarios, we have a, an off-the-shelf appliance with our software on board that sits in the broadcast facility and may start and stop at various times during the day to help them stream those newscasts. And those newscasts are consumed on their website and their applications, and we would help them with um, even ad replacement so that the ads that play out in the uh, live feed can be replaced in the digital equivalent with um, ads that they use from an ad decisioning platform. Um, so we help with that, that whole um, proposition there. And then from a much larger scale, we're helping big brands under the NBCU umbrella, uh, even Fox Sports, to deliver those national broadcasts to viewers on every screen, um, generally with ad replacement as well, um, to you know apps, to Roku devices, to Apple TVs. Again, basically getting that signal out to every screen um, in a very efficient way so that the uh, customer doesn't have to pick siloed components and try to put together one cohesive solution. Oh, I assume this is an IP-based solution, or is this a, like a playout box that has an SDI out on it? It, it is an IP-based solution. Well, it, it can be a couple of different things. Um, in the scenario we just talked about, we provide the technology that goes in a broadcast facility uh, that can be fed with a baseband video signal or an MPEG transport stream. Um, but we can also accept RCMP streams in and help our customers extend their footprint. So, if, for example, if a TV station doesn't want to roll a microwave truck or a satellite truck on a weekend to cover a wine festival or a rodeo, they can get set up with a camera and a laptop, and if they can get us a, a five megabit per second RTMP feed, we can help extend that and deliver it to screens anywhere. So it could be a variety of scenarios. We've tried to really listen to uh, those organizations that we've served large and small so that we do have one platform fits all, right? Where every customer can leverage those same features. We don't delineate by the size of the customer. Monetization and, and ad insertion, um, you have that capability. Would you mind elaborating on it? Sure. Um, so today, you know, it's very important. In fact, I'm thinking of one of our latest customers that we're proud to have the folks at Scripps Networks Interactive. So um, brands like HGTV, The Travel Channel, and um, Food Network are some of our newest customers. We're providing them with that functionality to go over the top live linear with ad insertion. And with them as an example, it's really exciting when organizations look at these um, propositions from a profit center first standpoint, as opposed to, oh my gosh, how many thousands of dollars do I have to spend on the infrastructure just to get my streams out there because I've got to be you know, out there like everybody else. Um, what they've done and we're seeing more and more programmers and broadcasters do is say, how can I make money off of this service from day one? So what that means is, tapping into that broadcast feed that's already generally there in the facility, right? So it's an SDI feed or it's an MPEG TS feed that has those SCTE or some of us for shorthand call it SCUDI markers um, in the signal. And what that delineates are the boundaries of that ad pod and, and then we get some information about the ads in that pod, the order they play in through their ad network. 
we communicate with that ad network and hook all these components up so that when that trigger fires, we're pulling the ad creative, uh, transcoding and stitching it in, in real time uh, and delivering those ads to the streams. And take it one step further, we can deliver ad payload based on a, on a user's um, location profile. So uh, the, the analogy I make is say Manhattan and New York City, let's say you've got one person on the east side of town, one person on the west side of town watching the same live event. Um, using the, that architecture and technology I just described, we can deliver separate ads to the person on the east side versus the west side of town, say for different coffee, coffee shops, for example. You guys do uh, HD capture, uh, ingesting and coding. Uh, premium syndication, media management, TV everywhere. You guys, uh, you guys have your foot in a lot of uh, a lot of stuff in video. The idea is to answer all of those questions, or or at least have a solution for some of the needs that um, that these different workflows can have. Again, you know, if you got the biggest um, broadcast brands as customers, they have very complex requirements. Let me give you an example. So when a uh, a programmer like NBC has an episode of The Blacklist and it's going out on a weekly basis when it's in season, um, that episode is not only going to live on NBC.com or in their app, but they're also taking a version of that perhaps and delivering it to Comcast or Time Warner or Verizon so that when you hit that button on your remote, you've got it on demand and available to you right there. What we're able to do is kind of flatten out that, that value, ch that, that stack, if you will, um, the, the workflow that they use to deliver these files um, in just recent years, you'd have two or three or more silos through which you'd have to create those files to deliver out to those screens. Well, now it's, we're, we're able to kind of collapse that into one workflow to where it means fewer humans touching things and fewer repetitive tasks. It really makes a lot of sense for them. Lastly, if you could, um, tell us a little bit about media content management, your MCP system. So MCP is, again, this all-encompassing platform that, that, that covers all of the components that a, that a workflow could have from live capture to analytics, right? So what content's making money in real time? What are the most watched clips? Um, where are the most ads playing around content? So we have a, a separate analytics suite that is independent of the customer CDN or even independent of you know, a third party platform like an Omniture to where they can look at the, um, the heuristics uh, on the, around that video and around the ads in real time. Uh, MCP, as we discussed, includes live capture, um, but clipping. So, for example, one of the real hot trends with us today is our, our news and sports customers who have live events happening in the moment. So imagine a car chase, a house fire, or a soccer match, right? Our customers want to get clips of, of that event out in real time as fast as possible to draw attention either to their broadcast brand, their digital brands, or both, so that people can consume that content in real time. But even more importantly, we're seeing a lot of our customers take advantage of the massive social audiences out there. So in addition to the clipping scenario we've just described uh, and push, pushing those out to those outlets, we have more and more of our customers taking advantage of Facebook and Twitter audiences. So we have a, uh, a special relationship with, with Twitter to where we access, I'm sorry, with Facebook to where we access their uh, video API send the content in uh, in a proper form so that it lives directly in people's feeds. Um, and then you're going to see even more audience targeting because our customers will be, will be able to tag elements in the video. Yeah, and I love that you guys have open architecture and APIs for your system. Um, again, Matt Smith, Chief Evangelist of Envato. Matt, thank you so much. Thank you for having me.